Guys, Yo quiero aprender una rutina con ustedes. I know some of you or most of you don't have tambourines. Yo sé que la mayoría de ustedes no tienen el pandero. That's why God gave us hands. Amen. Okay. Um, so if you guys want, um, I'm just gonna line you up first here, and so we can just sit down. Primero, so that way we can go through the lecture part first. Para que podamos hablar primero, dar la lectura primero. Y luego entramos en lo de el ejercicio. Amen. Amen. So what I want is I want a row yeah. of five. Lo que quiero es cinco. A row of five to start Una off. Una de cinco para empezar. Quickly. <coughs> Spread out, you guys. A row of five. Okay, and then I want another row of five, but I want you guys to sit in between. So it's going to be zigzag, okay? So that one we stand up to do the routine. You're not directly behind you. And then you guys try to spread out as much as you guys can. Okay, real quick. Listen up. Everybody stand up. Open up your arms to the side. If you don't have space, move it right out. And then, come to the other side, back and forth, right back. Oh, yeah. Grab room, grab room. Grab room. That ain't gonna happen. Good? Estamos. Uh, yes. In the name of your God, in Spanish, in large, yes. <laughs> so you guys can sit down. Okay. So real quick, um, how many of you guys know about the tambourine? Rapidito, ¿cuántos de ustedes saben del pandero? Raise them high. Levanten las manos alto. Wow. Do you guys use tambourines in your church? Usan panderos en su iglesia? In your worship? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I got scared. So okay. If you guys don't know about tambourines, you guys use them in service, then. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to try to go through this real quick. Voy a tratar de pasar esto rapidito. It's four pages. Cuatro páginas. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the why we use them, where we use them, and the significance of the tambourine. Te voy a repasar por qué la usamos, dónde la usamos y el significado del pandero. There's other information on here. Hay otra información aquí. If the leaders want it at the end. Si los líderes la quieren al final. Please give me your email so I can email it. To you. Por favor, déme su correo electrónico y yo se lo voy a mandar. Because this is really important. Porque son cosas muy importantes. Especially if it's an instrument used. Daily, like a regular service. Especialmente si es un instrumento que van a usar en sus servicios. Amen. Okay, so real quickly, um, the workshop is called uh, "Restoring Back the Tabret, Timbrel, and Tambourine." Restoring back the Tabret, Timbrel, and Tambourine. Restaurando el pandero, el tabre y la. In Spanish, I'm not sure. So, and the verse I have is Jeremiah 31.4. And it says, Once again, I will rebuild you. Once again, you will take up your tambourine and dance joyfully. So, like I said, we're restoring everything back. They used to do it before. It may have gotten distorted. A lo mejor se, se distorsionó. distorsionó. But now we have the duty of restoring it. Pero ahora tenemos que restaurarlo una vez más. Amen. Amen. Okay, so real quickly. The tabret, an instrument of praise and worship, is a musical instrument that was used back in ancient times. 
Yeah. El trae es un instrumento de adoración y alabanza que fue usado en los tiempos antepasados. And over the years has developed into the timbre and into what we know today as a tambourine. Y a través de los años se ha desarrollado en lo que sabemos que es el pandero y el tamborín. Tamborín. Over the years, the tambourine has been reintroduced to the church and reintegrated into the praise and worship. A través de los años, el pandero se ha sido introducido a las iglesias y se ha reintegrado a la adoración. However, in these last days, God is rebuilding the tabernacle of David. Pero en estos últimos días, Dios está reedificando el tabernáculo de David. And restoring back the arts as an integral part of worship. Y restaurando las artes como la, las artes como parte de la adoración. With this, the tambourine has become an extension in our movement and expression. De esta manera, el pandero ha sido una extensión en mover y en la expresión. Becoming part of the wholeness of what dance is today in the church. Formando parte de lo que es la danza para la iglesia. Amen. Amen. Any questions? Preguntas. Okay. Sharing all the same root. Compartiendo las mismas raíces. The tabret, timbre, and tambourine are actually different instruments. El tabre, tambri y el pandero son diferentes instrumentos. The Hebrew word for tambourine is tof, I believe you pronounce it. Tof. Tof. T O P H. En hebreo se dice tof, la, la, el pandero se dice tof. And that's the root. Y es la palabra griega, okay. hebrea. Amen. So in ancient times we see, um, en los tiempos antiguos, sorry, in the ancient times we can see that the tabret, timbre, and tambourine were used. Podemos ver en los tiempos antiguos que fue usado en estos instrumentos. Um, I'm really going to jump over that because that's not really significant, but we know it. there's biblical references. But what I'm going to go into is what we use the tambourines for. Amen. No voy a repasar las referencias bíblicas, pero sí hay, solo que voy a entrar a lo que se usa el pandero, porque o cómo se usa el pandero. This is a lot. Es bastante lo que tiene que cubrir. Okay, so what, when, and what are the tambourines used for? ¿Cuándo y para qué se usa el pandero? First, use the tambourines to praise God. Primeramente se usa para alabar a Dios. To exalt who He is. Para exaltar quién es. And in First Chronicles 13:8. En Primera de Crónicas 13:8. It says that while David and all the people danced with all their might to honor God, they sang and played musical instruments, harps, drums, which are also known as tambourines, cymbals, and trumpets. First Chronicles 13. Y David y todo Israel se, re, se regocijaban delante de Dios con todas sus fuerzas, con cantos, arpas, salteríos, tam, tamboriles, címbalos y trompetas. Amen. The tambourine is an instrument used to praise and exalt the Lord, like I said. El pandero es un instrumento usado para exaltar y adorar al Señor. We have direct access to the Lord before His very presence. Tenemos, podemos pasar delante de Dios en su presencia. Just like David and the people of Israel praised God before the Ark of the Covenant. De la misma manera que David y el pueblo de Israel pudieron adorar a Dios a través de, del pacto. And the Ark of the Covenant is a symbol of God's very presence. It's where the Shekinah of God hovered, the glory of God hovered the people. Y el Arco del Pacto es donde, donde habitaba la Shekinah de Dios. So es un símbolo de la presencia misma de Dios. Amen. Um, when it was being um, so they would dance before with tambourines when the Ark of the Covenant was being moved from place to place bailaban cuando bailaban danzaban cuando estaba siendo movida el Arco de Pacto de lugar a lugar just like in the book of Psalms we as worshipers are called to praise the Lord with all types of musical instruments including the tambourine de igual manera que en el libro de Salmos nosotros también decimos somos llamados a adorar al Señor con danza y con adoración we have Psalms 149.3 tenemos Salmos 149.3 And Psalms 154 which we were discussing it with I believe Maggie Y Salmos 150 que estábamos hablando con Maggie Which is praise the Lord with tambourines and dancing praise him with hearts and flutes Que alaben al Señor con panteros y danza con arpas y con frutas Amen Next Tambourines are used for spiritual warfare El pantero se usa para guerra espiritual Tambourines are also used in spiritual warfare They are a powerful instrument in the hands of an anointed and equipped vessel. Son un instrumento poderoso en las manos de un vaso, un vaso ungido y equipado. Y equipado. For God gives us the knowledge, understanding, and technique to be trained. Porque Dios nos da el conocimiento, el entendimiento y la técnica para poder ser entrenados. Psalms 18:34 says, "My He trains my hands for battle, 
My arms can bend a ball of bronze. Next, we also have Psalms 144.1, which is, Praise be to the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for war. So we obviously know that we as worshipers are warriors. God has equipped us to war against the enemy. We have to remember that the tambourine this does not have power it's not magic it's just an extension of who we are as a vessel of God and the anointing that God has placed in us we are able to transmit it and release it to the people to the atmosphere through our worship amen amen the tambourine is an instrument that was restored and given to us to assist in our worship. As worshipers and intercessors, Como adoradores y intercedores, how many know what an intercessor is? ¿quiénes saben qué es intercedor? What is an intercessor? ¿Qué es un intercedor? Oh, hey. uh, who prays for the church, prays for uh, their family. Amen. An intercessor or intercession is when we pray not for ourselves, but we pray on behalf of somebody else or for something. Un intercesor se pone en la brecha no por ellos mismos, pero sino para orar por otras personas o por algo. And that is really important why the intercession and worship go hand in hand. Y es muy importante y eso es porque la intercesión y adoración van de mano a mano. As worshipers, we all should be intercessors. Como adoradores, todos debemos de ser intercedores. Because we intercede, we intercede Porque intercedemos with our worship and our dance. Con nuestra adoración y nuestra danza. We prepare the atmosphere. Preparamos el ambiente. Amen? Amen. So like I said, as worshipers and intercessors, um, we can use the tambourine to bind and loose things in the heavens. Como intercedores y adoradores podemos usar el pandero para atar cosas y para desatar cosas en los cielos. That is in Matthew 18, 8. En Mateo, 18, 18. Se encuentra en Mateo 18, 18. We also can uh, rebuke the, principality, the principalities, authorities, and powers in high places. También podemos reprender principados y autoridades en lugares altos. Which we find that in Ephesians 6, 12. Y se encuentra en Efesios 6, 12. And we're able to cause the enemy to retreat and flee when we use the tambourine. Y podemos causar que el enemigo se re Troceda a través del pandero. Um, Isaiah 30, 32. Isaías 32. Says, as the Lord strikes them again and again, his people will keep time with the music of the drums and harps. God himself will fight against the Assyrians. In this verse, strike, I looked up the word strike, and it means to deal a blow or, or stroke to as with a fist, weapon, or hammer. In other words, to hit or to inflict, deliver, or deal, or to drive so as to cause impact. So what I'm trying to say here in this verse, en ese versículo, the tambourine, el pandero, when it's being striked, cuando le pegan al pandero, we're causing an impact estamos causando un impacto into the camp of the enemy, al campo del enemigo, into the spiritual realm. En el, en el remo espiritual. So that's why the tambourine is used as a, as a weapon of spiritual warfare. Por eso es que se usa como un instrumento para guerrear espiritualmente. Amen. When we use the tambourine in worship, un en adoración, it reminds the enemy of who he was le recuerda al enemigo a quién era, and the position that was taken from him in heaven y la que fue de en los cielos, and given to us. Y dada a nosotros. That is in Ezekiel 28, 13 to 18. Es en Ezequiel 28, 3 al 18. 3 al 18. As sons and daughters of the Most High. Como hijos y hijas del Altísimo. Tambourines when used correctly and in unity Panderos como usado correctamente y en unidad causes confusion in the camp of the enemy. Causa confusión en el campo del enemigo. Through the sound brought forth by the metal symbols. A través del sonido que atrae el pandero de los símbolos. When using a tambourine as ministers, we make declarations and decrees. Cuando usando el pandero como ministros estamos declarando y decretando. A los aires. And we use the tambourines to mark territories 
or sí. make y usamos el pandero para marcar territorio or make perimeters in the spiritual realm o a formar perámetros en el mundo perimetros. espiritual perímetros perímetros amen so this is a really powerful weapon so es un, es un instrumento muy poderoso like I said in the hands of an anointed person en las manos de un de un vaso ungido that's what we a ministry por eso que cuando un ministerio uses the tambourine usa el pandero Everybody has to be synchronized. Todos tienen que estar unidos. On the same beat. En el mismo um, ritmo. ritmo. Because if we are all as a ministry, we're all using tambourines in a service. Porque como un ministerio estamos usando el pandero durante un servicio. You have to remember the music.